Hey guys, <laughs> what's going on? It's already 10 o'clock, 10.08. I cannot believe this. Time is coming here fast. Finally, this is uh, Mr. Q. You guys have been waiting for forever. And now finally we're able to talk about some important stuff that we're supposed to discuss and I hope to help you make your success and I know you all are crazy but let me tell you what I put together for you guys uh, it's, it's basically it's a bunch of us is going to talk to you about how we can help you not only start your life properly but we're gonna tell you what our discussion will be but number one that I need you to see uh, it's a group of us, you know, we are ready to facilitate to all of you every day, everywhere, everyone, I don't care who you are, all of you need to participate and teach you step by step how to put your life together financially, spiritually, however you want to call it, but we are ready to teach you how to put your life together, period. So what's important to us is to teach you how to start your life where you can be financially free. Because when you have money, it feels good. Don't let anybody fool you and say, hey, it's not about money. If they say it's not about money, it's about money, okay? So today we get we got some important topics, uh, great nuggets to share with you. I have all my stuff together here, all my papers, I'm live. And then we'll be able to uh, put that online for you. We can stream it for you and make sure that everybody have the same idea but remember what this is it's a bunch of professionals all of us we put our heads together to facilitate to all of you every day everywhere it doesn't matter where you live in the planet where it doesn't matter what continent you live in we are here to help you to get started your life that is to become financially free and you can really put your life together now this is what i did i'm going to give you a quick story about myself I came here to this country, uh, to this beautiful America, and I'm really proud to be an American. And I got to tell you, the opportunity was limitless. Limitless. I was able to understand every single way of making it happen for me, for my family, for myself, to make sure that I'm able to teach every single one how I learned and how I was able to make it happen. So we're gonna keep it simple, very simple. Because I know you've been frustrated, you started a business, things didn't work out. And um, you have people who said that, oh, don't worry, uh, this is the, the country that you're gonna make life uh, better for yourself, but you start, nothing happened. You open a business, you start making lots of money, and for some reason you cannot stay consistent. And everything you try seems not to really work properly. But this the spin stops here. We'll be able to teach you step by step how to do it and then why we are taking the route what we are taking. Because today's market, you cannot do it the way you used to do it two, three, four, five years ago. You can do it, but you can use the data that you had before. For example, uh, the first time I made my first million dollars, I was only 16 years old. How did I do it? That was way back. Obviously, you can see that I grew up, if you look at me, really, I grew up Catholic, okay, uh, from kindergarten to 12th grade. I was able to put, you know, my life together, thanks to my folks that really step, you know, stand behind me and then try to tell me, hey, this is where to go, this is where not to go. Everything went well. Because because this introduction, you can forgive me for doing what I'm doing right now because I need to show you step by step why I, am, I believe that what you're doing today is the best thing that you ever tap into because most of us, we don't know. So the idea is I started a, a company. Uh, we were selling water filters and I was 16 years old. It was in the summertime, 1986, way back, of course, 1986. And I was able to put 65 students like myself together. And then we were able to bring all the parents forward and obviously, at the time, we were uh, there was not many bottled water. Today, you see bottled water everywhere. In 1986, bottled water was not that famous, was not that common. So what I was able to do, 
I was able to bring all the parents from every single Catholic church. And then uh, Pope uh, John Paul, that's where we graduated in Boca Raton, Florida, uh, high school, obviously. And we were able to go in there and understand why people refused to drink the tap water. Because the tap water was, had a lot of chlorine in it, uh, a lot of stuff that not supposed to be in there. The water was seven grain hard. And I said to my friends and colleagues at the time and said, hey, why don't we put our heads together and figure out a way to give better water? So obviously, I came from a family of 11, a lot of us. And my brothers, they are, all of them are older than me. And we were able to, I sat down with them. I was 16 years old. Okay, guys, I was 16. When I graduated high school, I was 16 years old. I wasn't that, you know, guy that so, you know, mature. It wasn't like that. So my brother said to me, the way to do this is to find out what people need and give it to them. But as a young man, young kid, if you want to call it that, 16 years old, it made sense to me. So then I said, you know, everybody's complaining. So we ran a survey to all the parents. Remember, when you're talking about Pope John Paul, okay, you're able to have a St. John, St. Mark, a St. Vincent Ferrer, every single Catholic church, we all meet there. You know how many countries that was inside Pope John Paul in Boca? 143 nations together. So I, we were in a survey with all the parents. We had about 150,000 parents, approximately. And then we, uh, 65 of us, we hit the street and we start asking the parents, what are their main concern about the water? They said, the water has a lot of chlorine. It's too much. We can't take it anymore. I need to find a way. So when we saw that, I saw an opportunity. So I, I called a gentleman that used to run a company called NSA. And I said to him, if I'm able to move your products, how, how much will I be making? He said, well, the products are $175. If you want that you sell, we'll give you uh, $50. I said, no, 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 no. We're going to switch it the other around. Every one that I sell, I'll give you $50 and I keep uh, the 125 bucks. And he said, well, let me think about it. I said, no, no, no. You have only one chance. That's one thing about me you guys need to know. I said, you have one chance and one chance only. Okay. What is that chance? You come in. Okay. If I leave this room, I will not do business with you. I'm going to find somebody else to sell their water filters for because I already have a market and I cannot wait any longer. I need to get this done. <laughs> so uh, the, his name was Robert Zebler. Maybe you can Google him. He was one of the big guys, you know, back then in 1986, water filter. We can teach you how, uh, all that. So, but the key thing that I learned about all that, once you have a community, you have a group of people. Obviously, we have, um, everybody's hopping on right now. So uh, we have three people basically that uh, cannot get in. I don't know why, but let's, let's guys, uh, they will be sending you text so you'll know how to get here because today is basically a story. And then after that, we get, go down to business because you need to know who you're dealing with. Who is this guy? Why everybody's excited about him? You need to know who, 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 who this guy is. Mr. Q, you need to know me. So that's why you're not speaking to a spring chicken. I've done success early in, in, in my life, and I can give you the way to really set your life and make it happen. So now uh, I can ob obviously tell you. So after that, we sat down, and I was able to uh, uh, put the water filters together. Uh, and the guy said, okay, we'll give you all the water filters. You sell them. But he said one condition. And this is where my favorite part is. He didn't realize that. He said, if you guys can sell, okay, 50,000 filters in three months, I will agree for you to give me only $50 per filter. So first, I had to find out how much you bought the filter for, where they came from, is the filter really going to clean the water? So we start testing. That's another thing people don't do. When you do business, the minute you find out what people need, you need to find a company that's reliable that really you can trust, okay, that can do exactly what you say. You cannot give people wrong story. You can't do that, okay? You cannot do that. You have to make sure what you are telling people are the truth, and then you have to really deliver what you say, and then you have to stand behind what you do, 
And if they're not satisfied, you have to always willing to give them back what they purchased from you. That's extremely important. So at the age of 16, my family put that together on my face that if you're going to serve people, it's extremely important that you're truthful to them and then you really make sure that they uh, can rely on you. And if they're not satisfied with what you are doing, you are willing to do whatever it takes to make them happy or even reimburse them or we fund their monies. I got that. But the only thing I realized, I have to be a better, better deliverer, a better uh, uh, thinker, a better servant. So I got that. So I created a stewardship with my people, 65 students. We didn't want to work for McDonald's, Burger King. Nothing wrong with McDonald's, nothing wrong with Burger King. But at that time, we didn't think it was necessary. So we put our heads together. We were able to make this happen for us. So I graduated May 26, 1986, okay? And then I started doing the water filter in June 3rd, 1986. Remember, summer vacation and I had to go to college, okay, at FAU in 1986 in August. Uh, obviously, you know how that works. August, you started college and then we had to stay at the dorm. And I remember that I went to FAU, Boca, and after that I moved to Boston uh, to get my PhD. So guys, I'm telling you, this is important for you to know. So I sat down, I realized, okay, straightforward, the only way for me to make this happen, for me or for everyone that believes in me, you're talking about another 64 student like myself, that believe in me at the age of 16 and most of them were older than me you know why because i i finished high school very early because my father and my mom they kept me working and working until i made things happen but let me tell you this ladies and gentlemen you that listening to me okay when we sat down i start telling the boys okay we're going to hit the street we're going to make sure this thing happen and the guy challenging us said, if we can sell 50,000 50, water filters, he will give us 125 per water filter. And then he have about 1 million water filter he wants to sell. So then that can be a continuous business. <laughs> you know me, when you, when you, say, when you use the word 50,000 and I have 64 students plus myself, that's equal... 100 come on guys it, 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 it's all of us so I sat down I did the math I divide the 50,000 by I divided the 50,000 by the amount of student that I had and I said this is how many filters we're going to sell and then I went to my mom I said to my mother I want to give a price always give incentive to people you're working with because I'm gonna give you my story today and after that we're gonna talk about business but every Saturday, you got to tell your friends because you're going to have great nuggets. You're going to have fun and you're going to have and we're going to give you something, too. Just so you know, just so you know, we're going to have fun. OK, so we were able to sit down June 3rd. We started the business and we and then because I have to go back to school in the second week of August 1986. So I said to the guys, we have from June 3rd to August 5th and then we have to sell 50,000 water filters minimum and we will install them and you know though it's on the top of the sink the one under on the bottom of the sink they were 375 the one on the top of the sink was three i mean was 175 so we were we were having a good deal going on so guess what happened at the age of 16 1986 and then the boys sign in they all agreed they're not going to work for mcdonald's for that summer and then we all Catholics, we all, we had everybody. We had Jewish, we had Catholic, we had Protestant, Muslim, we had everybody. But the bottom line is we're in a Catholic school. So that's what I know. So we went in, we sat down. So my mom said, this is what I said, I'm going to give incentive. My mom said, the only thing I said, I need $10,000. And my mother wrote me a check for $10,000. I went to a place called Wayneker Ford uh, on 10th Avenue in uh, Lakewood, Florida. I told the gentleman uh, at that time, 1986, Escort was the biggest thing. If you Google it, you see Escort Ford. Ford Escort was the top car back then. So then I went and bought one cash for 9000 
$995 and I had $5 left. And then the guy said, okay. I said, this is what we're gonna do. I want you to take this car, you're gonna drop it to us on military trail. It's next to Lane University because Pope John Paul II is right on military trail. So 1986, remember, I'm talking about way back, right? So now, it's exactly 30 years ago, just so you know. Now you know how old I am, okay? So I went in, I was able to have a, because I didn't want any mileage on the car. The only mileage I want in that car is when they designed it and they drove it for a little bit, like maybe 10 or 15 miles on it. So brand new Escort. So I dropped it, the guy took the tow, 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 tow truck, he towed it to the school yard, and then we start the campaign. Whoever sold the most water filter will own, will that car belong to you? All the students went after the car and then they went door to door, door to door. Guys, let me tell you something. By the end of the whole story, to make a long story short, we sold $3,900,000 for less than three months. And I went to college as a millionaire. I was driving the car. I remember I have the ML350, the Mercedes-Benz. My father bought it for me cash at a place called Gulfstream Mercedes on Okeechobee Boulevard in Florida. And I was able to drive a $130,000 car going to college at the dorm. Obviously, I was the man, right? No, life just started right there. I got, and in, uh, my share, I took my share and we spread the rest, you know, but I wind up with $1.3 million. I want to make sure you understand. So I don't have anything to worry about at that point. I was able to put it together at the age of 16. But now, what qualified me to talk to you today about this Coffee with Q? Why everybody's crazy about me? Oh man, we need to listen to this guy. Let me be honest with you. After I got to college, I created an elite class. It's called the Elite Young Millionaires. I, I had 100 of us, <laughs> listen to this, from high school, going to college, I went to college, 100 of us, white, black, that's when I start meeting all kinds of people, you know, people who speak French like me, people who speak uh, Spanish, uh, Creole, Hebrew, uh, you name it, I met so many good people in there, I was so excited, I said, that's opportunity for me, and then all of us, we created an elite class. Remember, I went to school to become an engineer, schematic engineer, which is purely electronic. You design the products for people. Then they rely on what you design. And then listen to this. I spent four good years inside FAU. And I went to get my to, to Boston, uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts to receive my PhD to become the man you know that's the man you know but that's not what it is really it's all name because at school you can be smart but if you don't know how to move your knowledge you don't know how to use it guess what you're wasting time so i was very impressed very amazed very excited to be part of this deal so then four years i quit an elite class guess what guys at the end of four years i mr q deliver 100 millionaires 100 millionaires all me and the team and then we went to boston obviously some people that we went to boston together oh my lord i was like so intrigued so we start getting it there and later on i designed a software uh it's a dialer we were able to sell it to aol in uh 1995 and later on, we made so much stuff. So then I said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to retire. I don't want to do anything anymore. I'm done and I don't want to do anything anymore. But guys, I got bored. And all my friends said, Q, we've been playing golf forever. Why don't you do the same thing you were doing before? Help people. Now I said, okay, so let me study the market. Let's see how we can get things done. And we're going to create topics. And within those topics, we're going to say exactly what we're going to discuss. And then within those topics, we'll be able to help a lot of people. So then, what did I do? We did create, a to we create topics. We tried to make things happen. People were excited. And um, it's amazing. And then we were able to make things happen, make it big. And guess what, guys? This is what we did. Guys, listen, call your friends. 
whoever is watching right now, call your friends. They need to listen to what we are saying because everybody, we're going to create a club. I'm not going to say it yet <laughs> because today we got a, the topic, the, which is the first. Uh, we have another five minutes after we're going to uh, uh, put the topic here. And then if you have questions, you can send it. We have people sitting by to answer your questions. It's not a problem. And then we're going to make it happen for you. But today, the introduction, I need you to know who you are talking about. Who is talking to you right now? Who is this guy? That's what I want to accomplish today. When you finish anything you do in life, make sure you leave people with who is this person? What did I learn from this person? Can I learn from this person? Can we stick together? Can this guy help me? Can he make me a millionaire? Can he make me financially independent? That's what we need today, right? So after all my friends spoke to me, from left and right, New York, Canada. <laughs> I have my friend in Africa, uh, my friend in, in everywhere, in Japan, because you know I go to all those countries when I used to create projects for uh, GE and Whirlpool, Maytag, Westinghouse. I used to design all those things. Guys, listen, I've been around, okay? But I know what I understand about what life is about. If you cannot be financially free, you are blowing smokes. You can be a good Christian, you can be a good Muslim, you can be a good Jew, you can be a good person, but your finances is what give you, put you together where there are certain things you can do, you have flexibility. And what is flexibility? Flexibility is power. It's power when you can be flexible. You can design, you said, you call your girlfriend or your wife or your fiance or your mom or your sister, hey, let's go have a... Uh, 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 dinner in Paris tomorrow. Man, you can afford it. The, the meal may cost only a hundred bucks, but you got enough money to say, let's go. And then how long will it take you to go there? Look, you just go and have fun. Guys, I've been there. I've done it all. Okay. Now you will see, I carry my little first star. Matter of fact, let me see if I can show it to you. You see my little star here? Can you see it? That's my first million dollars. When I made my first million dollars, they give me this star. So if you want to say, what is this guy wearing? I'm not a politician, but I study it too because that's part of my network. Okay? Uh, churches, oh my Lord, that's my favorite spot. Okay? I go to synagogues. Oh man, we meet all my friends, you know. Look, I have no, I cross wherever I need to go to reach my people to help them become successful. So guys, this is the bottom line. Okay? I'm going to teach you step by step how to do this, but we're going to create a club. But now we're going to do it for free. That's why I said everybody hop on there because I need everybody to be here. I know a lot of people signed to be in. Hop on there and try your best to get it done. So now, all these things that I'm telling you is very basic, okay? I'm not going to make anything complicated, speak like a PhD person. No, I'm going to speak like a fourth grader. Or maybe even a fifth grader, maybe even a third grader. So you can get my point because that's how you become rich. Anybody who's using language you don't understand, you don't need to be part of it. And let me give you the secret. People don't care about what you want to accomplish. They only care about if you can help them accomplish their goals. If I'm talking to you right now and I cannot teach you how to accomplish your goal, why should you hop in here? Don't hop in there. Just go do something else. But if you know this guy has something to offer, he can bring you to where you need to be. You got to get in. Okay. So now, uh, today we're going to touch a few basics. And uh, like I said to you, in three more minutes, uh, 10 uh, 35 exactly, we're going to touch about our subject. And I'm going to teach you step by step how we're going to help you. And then why my studies, I'm going to show you what I was able to come out with. And then why we are going to be successful, extremely successful. I can almost assure you, you're going to be successful. But the only way for you to be successful, though, you have to have a pull your paper and pencil. You got to take notes because stalking can always disappear. But if you write it down on a piece of paper, this thing going to stay forever. So that's why I need to make sure that all of you here on the same page. But before we start the actual nuggets of all this call your friends and let them hop on there and then, then just send them your link if you have a link already just send them your link because and then also i want to thank all of the people who put the videos uh to say because we're gonna we have a surprise for all of you that made the videos to say subscribe to shop on q <laughs> i mean to uh, uh coffee with q 
I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, Coffee with Q is the deal. Everybody wants to talk about that. But now, who sponsored us today? It's a company called sharponq.com, and it's run by a bunch of professionals, uh, good, beautiful ladies and good guys, uh, tall men, short men, big men, small men. They're the one who put this together. You will see that I sometimes I play a lot, but when I play, guess what? I'm happy, okay? So you need to see that face all the time when I'm happy. <laughs> okay, so uh, we did this because we want you to change your life. So the study that I have done, and I'm going to share it with you, and how we're going to change where you can start your business without any money whatsoever. Because uh, I was listening to one of the billionaires. Uh, you may not like him. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Mark Cuban, which is, you know, he's very famous uh, in terms of uh, Shark Tank. He, he's part of the Shark Tank movement. And then he was able to say, whoever opened a business with money, you are morons. I mean, I understand what he's saying. It's not like you're not supposed to go get your corporation and get your bylaws put together and hire a lawyer to set it up or a CPA to put your, all your finances together and your projection, your, your, you know, all these things, which is, I understand what he's saying. I, this is exactly what I was telling you. When I was doing the water filter, I was not, let me make it clear, I was not putting any money out. I simply have a market. And I have the people, after my survey, I was able to see it. I'm talking about way back in 1986. And at, in 1986, there was no Amazon. There was no eBay. <laughs> there was no uh, um, uh, uh, anything else in terms of these things. It was way before that. But obviously, when the market changes, you cannot reinvent anything. Because those people, they put energy, money, a uh, lot of studies, a lot of sweat. And uh, believe me, when you see somebody become successful, they don't become successful overnight. They've been working on it. You probably see it coming fast, but they've been working on it for years, some of them for decades before they even put it out. And we know about that. So we're going to talk about that also. And I'm going to tell you about my findings, how you can come and become successful at it. Okay. Now we want to see at least a couple hundred viewers here. Uh, obviously, no, we cannot do a couple hundred viewers. We can do a lot more. Okay. But we need uh, more people because we're going to start in exactly 10 seconds, okay? Because it's exactly 10.35. When I start doing business, I go straight to it. <laughs> if you look behind me, you'll see a, like, a, like a, a little whole wheels behind me, you know? You see the whole wheels behind me? Okay, that whole wheels was back in uh, 1801, okay? 1801, uh, and I will tell you, what happened to that wheel that behind me? We'll talk about that story. It's a picture. You see a picture behind me? Right behind me. Look at this. You see? You see the picture behind me? Okay. You see it? <laughs> it's the picture behind me. Okay. Right there. So uh, you get to see that picture later on, and I'll explain to you what that is. Okay? Now, this is the idea, guys. Um, it, I want you to pay attention to successful people, and I want you to see how they start their life and how they're able to accomplish a lot of things, okay? Uh, and when they speak, they're so proud. They, they, they're not speaking by luck. They, they speak and they're always happy people. They're not grumpy and they're not trying to, you know, uh, intimidate people or try to make believe they're better. They're regular people. No matter how much money they have, they always stay as regular people. They don't change. And you know why that is? Because I'm going to tell you why that is. I want you to open your, your uh, I know we have some people here, we're starting now. Open your notebook. I want you to make a circle for me. Okay, you're going to make uh, a circle, and then you're going to make one on the outside, and you're going to make one on the outside again. You're going to make three circles, okay? Those three circles, on the inside, I want you to put, to write the word Y inside that circle. And on the second circle, I want you to put the, one that says how in the last circle i want you to put something that say what okay now i want you to pay attention to everybody that extremely successful you see how they're able to conquer those that this big success that you see people are talking about and the circle that you put that says why you need to start anything you do in life forget about just business anything you do in life i want you to start 
it from the inside, not from the outside. Remember, I said on the, the first circle, you're going to write the word Y. W-H-Y. Remember, I told you I will be speaking like a third grader or fourth grader. Now you start seeing it, right? <laughs> uh, there are times you have to speak complicated, but not now. Okay, we don't need that. We need to be very basic. And in the second line, you put how, which is H-O-W. And the last line, you put what, which is W-H-A-T. Now, most of us, how do we do business when we have a problem? When you have a problem, the first question we ask ourselves, what should we do to resolve this problem? <laughs> right? That's the first thing we say, right? And the second thing we say, how can we do it? How can we do this? <laughs> and the third thing, why are we doing it? You see how you kill it? You're killing it already? So then let's do it the other way around. Let's reverse it. And I will show you why we, you're going to be successful with this program and why you're going to tell all your friends about it. Now, why is going to be your first thing on the inside, your heart, okay? I am opening a business, or I want to have a child, or I want to build a house, or I want to be a millionaire, or I want to be earning, uh, having the best car in the world. Uh, perhaps maybe the, I'm just saying that, maybe the Wraith. The, the Rosewood Wraith. Uh, the reason why I said that because I have, I have it and I like it. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful car. But it's a beautiful car. But my point to you is this. Why do I want to become a millionaire? That's the first question you ask yourself. You sit down. You lay down. You look in the, the, uh, at your ceiling from your house. You go by the ocean. If you have a lake, you go by the lake. You sit at the park. You go to anywhere at Starbucks. I love Starbucks, okay? And then you go to Panera Bread. I love Panera Bread too. <laughs> I'm not advertising for them or anything like that, but I like what I like. And then you have to ask yourself within you, why do I want to become a millionaire? Why do I want to start this business? Why do I want to have my kid to become a doctor? Why, why, why do I want to do these things? You have to determine that why 100%. 100%, not like 2%. The reason why the why has to be solid because people will stop you from, become, from reaching your goal. People will stop you from reaching your goal. You don't want that. You want, people will say, even your own family. My perfect example, when I was designing this, this software, it took me five years before I can make, 50 million dollars doing it right five years everybody is telling me no man you can't do this it's too hard even my father said i'll give you two million dollars because that i feel sorry for you because you not sleeping you're not eating you're not shaving you're not taking care of yourself i'm like dad i believe in this because before i did this remember i made my first million dollars when i was 16 years old and then guess who helped me do it? My parents, the people who helped me become successful, the people who brought me in this world, which is believes in me. If everybody else don't believe in me, they're the only one I have left to believe in me, right? And guess what, guys? They told me I worked. You no, know, it's not going to work. The fifth year, I, I didn't. He said, because my why was so strong. I don't want to give you that story because you will be like going crazy. And guess what? I said to myself, no. I am going to continue do what I do because the, my why was a foundation for me to not let people tell me no. Your sister, your brother, your friend, your neighbor, your coworker, if you work, if you have a job, and then they're going to discourage you. But what you need to do is uh, take a moment and look at their lives. What is it they accomplished before? And they will tell you, spend all your money. You don't know what you're doing. You, 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 you know, matter of fact, what you're doing is not working. Oh my God, you're crazy. They have to, this is part of life. People will do that to you. But it's up to you to let them continue doing this to you. It's up to you because your success is only you, not them. Because they don't want you to fail. That's their number one goal. Because you can be at the same level as them. I'm pretty sure you heard that before. But my point to you is this. Let me fix my glasses, okay? My point to you is this. Don't let people t 
tell you otherwise. If you have to eat a piece of bread with water, do it. But don't, don't let people put you down because your why has to be strong. What's that why is solid and you go to the how, okay? The how is the easiest thing and the what is the easiest thing. You know how people give you free advice? When they give you free advice, you know what free mean. It means nothing. If you give me a free advice, it means nothing because you get what you pay for. It was a free advice. Oh no, don't do this. Oh no, you are, you are stressed. Oh no, you're not good. You see, you hear all that. Oh my God, you, I, you don't spend time with us anymore. They will tell you, oh my God, you're sick. They will tell you all that. But your why is so solid. This is what you do. You put your head over your shoulder, shake it up and say, I am doing this. You, evil you, you're not going to stop me from doing it. If they kick you out and they don't give you food anymore, praise the Lord for it. Go behind Winn-Dixie, go behind Publix, eat leftovers, man, because you will become a millionaire. And when you become a millionaire, the same people who tell you couldn't do it, they're going to kiss you, kiss you over and over, and then all of a sudden they are best friend. I'm telling you. Okay. Now, boom, we have 16 more minutes to go. He said, well, man, well, but we're supposed to talk about the seven uh, uh, phases of website. Yes, we will talk about it. And we will make it on time because I'm so confident like this. So now you need to understand those. Work inside out, not outside in. Because outside in, you're going to bring wrong thing inside your heart. And then you're going to break. That's why every 100 businesses that open, 97 of them fail. Only 3% of them survive. You know why? Because you do, your why was not stronger enough. Why am I doing coffee with Q? Because I believe I can develop millionaires here. I can believe I can develop stories. I don't want you to give me anything. I'm going to show you, prove to you that I can. Because I can. And then you can. And then you can. And then your parents can. Everybody can. Because I believe what we're doing right now. It can start with one person. I'm happy. It can start with me talking by myself. I am extremely happy. But the bottom line is, I have a goal. It's going to work, and we're going to have so many people listening to this. And remember, every good thing, it's hard to get people to get involved. But if it's something bad, everybody's in. And then everybody disappears quick. But I prefer to build inside out, not inside in. Okay? So now, you got all that together. You put your circle. Now you know. You got to study on your why, because remember, I tell you, every time you're doing some kind of stuff, you got to leave with something that you can work with. What is it you want to work with? My why, my how, my what, because they're inside my circles, okay? Now, let's go to reality. This, today my findings were shifting retail. I'm not going to kiss, I'm not trying to make things here. Shifting retail is where the money is. You know, back then you open a big store and then you put your inventory in there. Oh, hopefully somebody come in and you go out there, you go to the newspaper, you sign for a newspaper thing and you're advertising there. And then you go to the radio and then you start talking or you go to the TV, you give the money and then people showed up. Those markets are long gone. <laughs> After my findings, shifting retail is the way to go. Second, Social retail is number two. Oh my God, social, what is social retail? Okay, you've been social, but guess what? Now you're gonna take up Facebook, Google, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. That's what you're thinking about, right? Yes, you are right. But forget those for a little bit. Think this way, how you got started. How do you socialize? When you need a girlfriend, where do you go? When you need a boyfriend, where do you go? When you need a man to be married to, where do you go? You start socializing. You go to the people. He said, hey, look at you. You're so beautiful. And you start doing things you never done before so you can get what you want, right? Right. Yes. Don't, don't, don't tell me anything else. Right. But guess what, guys? That's what happened to Mark Zuckerberg. He understand the social. He said, why don't we do it without leaving our home? That's an idea, isn't it? Can he do it by himself? No, he needs you and me and everybody else to do it. Need another two, three, four billion people to be part. Am I right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. 
Social retail is what the market is doing. Now, you said, oh, where did you get all this from? Look at it. Let's go to Amazon very quickly. Amazon is my favorite because I believe in what they are doing. And I believe that no matter what you say, you need them in order to make what you want. Yes, you do. You come up with a product. You got a product you want to sell. This is a cup, right? It's a cup. I want to sell this cup. If I go to Amazon, I can sell that cup quicker than anywhere else. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, I go to eBay. Okay, this is another one. I can sell it too. Okay, you know what I mean? So all these things are sellable. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. I want to sell my candy. Oh, yeah, this is my candy. Yeah, that's my candy. If I go to Amazon, I can sell my candy too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is important for you to know. So the social retail and the shifting retail, the market is changing. Everybody's going and they're buying from those areas. So they're buying in bulk. Now, how do you drive the traffic? How do I negotiate with a manufacturer? We'll talk about all that. But the first thing we need to do, let's go to the seventh phase of a web design. The first one, you got to have a website. I don't care what you're telling me. You got to have a website, but not any website. That's why you got to follow my advice step by step. Don't do anything on your own, because if you do anything on your own, you're going to fail. But if you follow me, because I've done it before over and over, forget about how much money I have or how much I earn. Forget me. It's you now. It's not about me. It's about you. Okay. People been stepping on you too long where you never made it and then you refuse to suffer like everybody else nobody become a millionaire unless your mother leave the money for you and get what suffering you're gonna have you're gonna start drinking like crazy and then you're gonna blow it up but when you build it it feels good phase one website purpose we're gonna discuss that later on in our pre uh, next show website goals you gotta have a website so i'm gonna tell you how it is so you got seven phases take the note phase one because i'm gonna ask questions Website purpose, website goals, target audience. I'm reading from my paper that I took the notes for you. Okay. Look, I'm reading from here. Okay. I'm not just trying to pull them off my head. I wrote them down for you. So you know what to say, what to do. Phase two. Okay. Planning. The planning goes like this. The site map, the website structure, technology used. Yes. Phase three, wireframe models, virtual style, visibility, which is you're going to use a program UI, and also we're going to use UX. Those are the software. We're going to talk about them. Don't worry. Content on phase four. Phase four, content. Okay? Copywriting, because you don't want people to steal your stuff. We're going to teach you how to do all that. Because remember, I'm going to create a club, so I'm introducing myself today, so you need to take notes. Okay, copywriting, photos and videos. You have to learn how to take good pictures, how to take funny pictures, how to take weird pictures, and then you have to take videos, whatever can go viral, we're gonna teach you how to do that. Search engine optimization. We don't want to negotiate that. Phase five, development. We're gonna use HTML and CSS because we need to use those two software, those two uh, platforms because we want to I have what you call a database, okay? Responsive design. We're not going to let you design things to make your website busy. It's got to be simple. And I will do recommendation. Phase six, testing. You have to test what you put together. You ever hear those people, those politicians, when they want to put something out, they test it. They call you a name. If it works, it sticks. Remember those things? They do that. So then you're going to test your market. You test your website to make sure it works. Okay, and then browser uh, uh, compatibility. You need to know what browser to use and what to put together. Okay, now the other thing you're gonna say: Does this thing fulfill what I'm trying to show? The purpose, the why, my why. Can this website really fulfill my why? So all these things are there. Phase seven. You see, we're gonna go to something called deployment. Now we're gonna start the business. That's what we're going to talk about moving forward and teach you step by step how to do this. Now, monitoring, bug fixes, maintenance. 
because you gotta have all those things work. Because when you develop, when you deploying something and you're launching something, you have to make sure, ladies and gentlemen, this thing works. That's what we're gonna talk about. Those are the seven phases of a web design. And what will happen is that if you put your email on there, they will email you all those things that I'm talking to you about. Just app in there, tell your friends, and then just do that, okay? And let's do it. So, um, all these things, remember I told you I was confident? Now we have seven minutes. You see that? I'm telling you. Now, the, le le the last, last seven minutes, what we're going to give you? Because uh, um, I ask uh, Shop and Q people to uh, make sure that everything works out, but we're going to teach you how to create a community. Don't try to buy any product. Don't try to open a business right now. If you're part of this program, don't do it. I'm going to teach you how to do it the right way. Because a lot of people, you know what they do? They just open, they raise money, try to buy products to sell. Don't do that. I don't want you to spend any money, period, right now. I want you to think about how we're going to build a community straightforward. Now, if you are shy, don't be shy anymore. You got to start talking to people. If you're a 10-year-old or 16-year-old, you got to start saying hello if you never did. Hi, how are you guys doing? You got to start these. It's time now to do it. It's time to start talking to people. Be friendly. Well, you know, don't be uh, obnoxious, but be nice to people. Start opening your mouth and start talking because we're going to teach you how to build a community. If I'm a manufacturer, you come to me, you bring me a million dollars. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell you a million dollar product. But guess what the manufacturer is looking for? Because I've been negotiating all my life. Listen, guys, I negotiated for GE, $4 billion manufacturer in China, Canada, Japan, Thailand, by myself. $4 billion. I never had $4 billion. I never had a, even half a billion dollars in my life. I never had a quarter billion dollars in my life. But I know how to do it because I'm the man you're looking for. That's why everybody's putting pressure on me to open Coffee with Q. And I want to talk to everybody who wants to become something. But if you're not serious, please leave me alone <laughs> so I can talk to the people who needs it. So uh, if you hop in there, you give your email, they will do that. But everybody who participate today, what we're going to do, we're going to send you a cup that says Coffee with Q on it. But you got to ask for it. And then uh, make sure you ask uh, for the cup. And then you're going to get an earbud. You see, I'm wearing it. You see, you're going to get an earbud so you can, when you plug into our system, you can put your earbuds in and then you can listen and you can talk. You can share with people what you are doing. Ladies and gentlemen, and then you will get uh, some prizes. Remember the video you guys made? And then because this video you guys made, what I want you to do with it, I want you to be able to do one thing. We're going to do a contest. Uh, whoever uh, make a video like between 15 to 30 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, and then you have 150 people subscribe on that video, you're going to get a power bank. What is the power bank? It's going to keep your computer, your cell phone, every electronic device you have charged. Okay? Now, but for you to be qualified, we're going to give you, it's not me that's going to give you that. It's Shop on Q people that decide to do it. And I told him, for me to do this show, you guys have to pay. You have to give incentive because that's how I operate. So they agreed. So what I'm doing here, I'm not getting paid to do it. I'm having fun doing it because I want to talk to people. And I've been silent for too long. Now it's time. And I've been uh, helping people, but now I'm back again. So for you to qualify, the, set, the next step, when you have 150 people subscribe into your video, the, you're going to submit the video to uh, the people or coffee with Q, but it cannot be no more than 15 to 30 seconds. Or you're going to say something you like to do. You like to do it. And you're going to send that video. You're going to say you're going to start a business. And then 150 people have to subscribe to that video to say they like it. And then to say to subscribe, say that, oh, that's a good video. And then you get a power bank. I don't know exactly how much. I don't even want to know because I told them they got to give it away. Now, once you get that power bank, you will be qualified for an iPad mini. Shop on Q will give it to you. iPad mini. How do you win that iPad mini? Now you're going to have 250 people subscribe to that video. Okay? 
and then they're going to send you an iPad mini that costs uh, whatever the price is. But the latest model, I know they're going to give that to you. So that's where we are. Remember that thing I told you behind me? These wheels, that's how we start doing the 360. That wheels may look funny to you. Now you probably have impellers and there's airplanes. Me as an engineer, I know that when your wheels turn, you don't want it to turn less than 360 degrees, right? So we're going to make sure your wheels now are rusted. <laughs> the wheels that you have there, rusted. We're going to put these things in, okay? We're going to make sure your wheels are perfect. So anyway, you see, it's exactly 1058. We're going to break away. If you put your email, they will send you all those seven phases. And then they will teach, they will send you also information about the contest. And they will send you a cup for free. Today you qualify for this cup, uh, the Coffee with Q cup. And then also you qualify for earbud. It's right here. You see it in my ears. And I'm using it because if you if you're doing this, you gotta use, you gotta follow. But the steps you gotta take from here will help you succeed. But don't try to do anything and don't try to make up anything. Just say, guess what? I found something called Coffee Q. I wanna be part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. This is Mr. Q live from Ustream Broadcasting and sponsored by Shop on Q. I cannot wait to meet with you guys in person now today is the birthday is the luncheon of our broadcast and then a year from now we're going to be meeting in a big place and if you go inside uh, coffee with you you'll see a lot of things that i've been doing as volunteer and i also spend money too i give money okay to foundations and i create stuff for people who have diabetes houses that break down we give them money to repair them we send uh, professionals uh mississippi when the hurricane came, we went there. Uh, we did all kind of good stuff. Uh, Belle Glade and uh, Mia uh, uh, Baton Rouge uh, in, in, in uh, Louisiana, uh, uh, Chicago. We go there and, and we did lot, all kind of stuff around the world. Uh, Haiti, of course, after the earthquake, we went there too and to help people. You will see all that in there. And then thank you, everyone who made the video. Whoever reached 150, I cannot wait to send you to have a uh, uh, shop on Q group send you or community send you this free earbuds. Thank you. It's 11 o'clock. Now it's over. <laughs> over.